guys, Crop fans. It's Patrice with Cropsy Turvy, and I'm really excited to be here because I finally finished a project that I've had in mind to do um, for a little while, and I also um, had just gotten back from CHA not too long ago, which Keith and I had an amazing time. We met uh, so many amazing people, and I was just so inspired, and I just couldn't wait to come home and start creating. And one of the things that I chose to start creating with is this um, birdsong paper from Graphic 45. And um, Graphic 45, uh, their booth was just amazing. You can see some of the pictures uh, from their booth on our um, website at www.cropsyturvy.com. There's a link to um, our Flickr. Or is it Flickr? Maybe it's... Maybe it's Tumblr. I don't know. But there's a link on our blog to uh, the album that has the pictures. And um, each day, Graphic 45 gave away a paper pack if you were one of the first 45 people to come to the booth and tell them the um, phrase of the day that was on their Facebook page. And the um, very first day, they gave away the birdsong paper, which is just really gorgeous. Um, you've probably seen this by now, but... Let's see, I, this is the first time I'm using my iPod or my iPhone to do photos, so, or to do this video. Oh, there's my finger. So I'm going to try to do my best. I hope this works out. But um, I did use uh, the paper. Uh, the, the paper pack has um, two of each print. So I used one of each. So I have one of each left still. And a couple of them I didn't use. It has a very um, oriental Japanese, uh, vintage Japanese feel to it. I don't know if that's coming through too well there. Yeah. I don't know. This iPhone thing. I don't know if this is going to work. I took a class, um, a seminar with Julie Faith and Balzer, who is awesome and has a beautiful blog. And she uses her iPhone to do videos. And she's really good at it. And I am not yet. But I'll persevere and we'll see how this goes but you can see here's um, one of the pages and the back sides are just gorgeous too um, just beautiful prints and I've always said that I, I love graphic 45 but I always feel like they're more of a paper crafting than scrapbooking but I did manage to make a project that I incorporated scrapbooking and paper crafting and I'll show you that in a second. And I do want to say hi and thank you to all our new subscribers. We've had a real influx in subscribers lately. So if you are new, welcome and thank you for subscribing. And I'm not even showing you the back sides. But let me just go flip through here real quick so you can see. These are gorgeous. Look at these different journaling cards and just paper pieces that you can cut out and I'm not one for fussy cutting but I have to say that I definitely made an, uh, an exception to this with this paper collection because look at how gorgeous these are and I did do a lot of fussy cutting with this paper because it just lends itself so nicely and this was one of my favorites but I'm almost done. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. Look at this. This is really beautiful. I didn't use any of this in the project I used because what I the, the project I did, I kind of wanted to keep it a little more neutral, less less, less Asian inspired. But the paper is called Bird Song. And I have a tendency to take things kind of literally. So the bird song, of course, reminded me of bird houses. Here's some uh, old vintage Japanese women. These kind of skeeve me out a little bit, though. I don't know. But anyway, um, I like I said, I the bird song reminded me of bird houses. And, of course, um, Michaels has had their... This is my favorite, these lanterns. They've had their um, birdhouses on sale. They're on clearance. They were 80% off. So 
I saw this one. I actually saw a couple of them. And I kept um, looking at them. I bought another one and I was like, oh, this will be perfect to do an altar project with the bird song paper because, you know, the bird house and the bird song. Like I said, I take things a little bit too literally sometimes. But um, I had seen someone, I think it was Leanne Bishop on Lovely Scrapping, that she had done a um, birdhouse project for her mother-in-law where she took the roof off and she put um, the album down inside, which was my original plan. I was going to do something like that. Um, but then I saw this particular one, and this one's a little messed up because it's got this this metal roof, but this one was bent. But um, I saw this one and it had this beautiful um, wood cut out here, laser cut um, bird, and it just it was so pretty. And I thought, well, let me try to do something with this. So I brought it home, and my original plan um, was to put the house, the album inside, but then you can see through here. And I thought, well, I don't want to see the album in there. So what else can I do with it? So I turned it around and I thought, well, this is a nice big surface here. Um, maybe I'll do something. I'll make an album on the back and I'll have it maybe pull down. Um, so I spent all kind of time <laughs> measuring this space and, um, getting a perfect template so that I could do this and it, I did math and I did I used a roller and for anybody that knows me you know that using math and a roller is not one of my favorite things to do but anyway I was came up with this template and then I decided well maybe I should um, how am I gonna do the front so I thought well maybe I should take it apart and then I can trace the front so I started to take it apart and I broke it of course. So I went back up to Michael's and I was praying that they had more because um, I had gotten the one that I got in town a few, about 45 minutes away. So I went to my local Michael's and they had um, more. So I bought two more, I think. And um, this is actually the one that's left with the messed up roof here. But I took the one apart and I ended up using the actual piece so that I could trace it. Um, I could trace the paper and it would fit on here perfectly and I just cut it with an exacto knife. So what I ended up with was this and this is my birdhouse and as you can see I used the graphic 45 paper here. I don't know if you can see that and um, this is all graphic 45 paper and then the, the roses are from I Am Roses. And I just, um, the blue ones were white and I sprayed them with, I think it was electric blue glimmer mist. And then I sprayed it with, um, perfect pearls, one of the lighter colors of perfect pearls. Um, and my first thought was that I was going to cut out the one solid piece of paper and I did that and I, I detail cut it with the exacto knife and I put it on and it was just so busy. Like you couldn't even tell what was going on. So after many different tries of different types of paper and different colors, this is what I ended up with. So I ended up with the, um, this green from the paper collection and it is called, it's one of the B sides. It's the B set. It's called Harmony. So I used that to where like the vines and stuff were. And then I originally had cut the flowers out. There's like, if you see on the box, they had these little flowers. And I had originally cut those out with paper. And I used the A side of that Harmony. And it was red. And it looked okay. But once I um, started putting the roses on the bottom, I didn't like the way that looked. So I peeled it off and I put... Um, the roses over top. So my point being with telling you all this is that, you know, it's okay to make mistakes and I made a lot of them and I changed a lot of things with this, but I think I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out um, ultimately. And my mother's also happy. I, I actually, I'm going to give this to her when I'm all done with it. And I showed it to her today and she really liked it. But um, so ultimately then I ended up um, using the, the wooden bird from uh, the one that I took apart and I painted it and then I put him on top because then he really pops and I experimented with pattern paper but it was just too busy and it was distracting and um, I just really like the way it turned out with it painted so and then I lined the the roof this is the tin 
or the aluminum roof and I did um, I used some alcohol ink I think it was cool stream or blue stream or something the Ad Adirondack alcohol ink and then you go around and there's paper on both sides and then when you turn it to the back that's where my album is and I like I said I was gonna do the pull down and have it like maybe a little tab here and pull it down but I decided just to do a standalone album so this just kind of pulls out and it comes off and then I have my album and then the back of it just has the paper so it could be kind of a standalone birdhouse or it could be the album and what I did to keep it to stay is I actually took um, some magnetic canvas um, there's this product called magnetic canvas I think it was like a Doris product I, I picked it up at some point and um, you actually can paint on it but if you peel the canvas part off it just leaves the magnet and um, it's a nice thin magnet and I, it was good for um, layering under this paper so uh, you can't really even see because it's so thin but underneath here is a magnet sheet that I just cut out and then the back of my album I put a magnet sheet underneath the pattern paper as well just to kind of keep it on there I mean it's not really all that strong of a magnet but it just keeps it from flopping forward so on the album it's it's the same shape as the back and um, I just it's I wanted to keep everything flat and low profile so I pretty much just kind of fussy cut um, the parasol from the paper and some of the lanterns and then I used the Tim Holtz Movers and Shapers birdhouse and um, birdcage die. I covered them with paper and then I just die cut them. And the little um, Tim Holtz adage tag there. And then just a couple buttons and a couple little punched butterflies. I wanted to keep it simple. I didn't want it to be too heavy because I wanted it to be able to stay on the back of um, the house without flopping forward. Um, so then you open it up and I did, and this is just, um, this is cardstock or not cardstock, um, chipboard, and I just covered it with the, the pattern paper. I did, if you open it up, I did put a little um, couple of pieces of Velcro in here. I originally put the magnets underneath the pattern paper, but it just, they weren't strong enough to hold it shut on the cover, so I ended up putting the little um, Velcro or hook, hook and loop, I guess is the... Um, the uncopyrighted term <laughs> but um, I'm okay with it I mean at first it kind of bugged me and I did kind of try to peel it off but then I decided you know what it's not that big a deal and it's gonna keep the album from flipping open but uh, so then I just really wanted to keep it low profile and flat so I punched a few um, things this is one of those journaling cards that I just used as a mat this is my little sister on her um, first formal so like I said I was gonna give this to my mother after I'm done uh, and then I just, like I said, I used some um, fussy cutting, which I usually don't do, but I didn't mind here. And I fussy cut some accents. And there's not too many pages. There's only six pages. But um, there's a little fussy cut butterfly and some flowers. But I just think the paper is so gorgeous that it really doesn't need all that much. So it was a good, good project to use. Um, to do that I didn't need a lot of bulk a lot of embellishments and I really made use of my scraps too I know you guys if you've seen my other videos I'm crazy about using my scraps um, these were like just leftover pieces from cutting out the points and they just lent themselves really well to here so I tried to use as much as I can I do still have a little pal left that I'm probably gonna make another album with um, maybe a small mini book or maybe a little envelope album and then this, this for some reason, this one stuck together really well, the magnets. So, anyway. But I just used, again, some of the lanterns. I just cut them out to go with the pictures. There's my mom and dad. And some more of the lanterns and just some scrap pieces. And I punched a little star here because there's little stars in the background with the lanterns. And then it just, there's my back cover. So that is my mini, and I have to say I'm kind of excited about it. I, I, I had to walk away from it for a little bit because when it was all done, I was kind of like, oh, I don't even know if I like this, but I think I do like it. I, I love the paper, 
And I, like I said, I was inspired. I kept looking at those birdhouses and thinking, oh, I want to do something with one of those birdhouses. But I hate doing altered projects just for the sake of doing an altered project. Like, I like it to serve some kind of purpose. And obviously, I'm not going to let the birds go in it, so it had to serve some other purpose. So it's my holder for my little album. And my mom saw it today, and she loves it, so she's excited to get it. And uh, I guess that's about it. And I wanted to mention, um, be sure to keep an eye on our YouTube channel and our blog. We are coming up uh, with something really exciting. Uh, it's in the works, hopefully early next week. I'm going to have another video up to let you know what we're going to be doing. Uh, but we're really excited about it. And we're getting a bunch of new products in from CHA. Um, and there's going to be some fun things happening. So be sure to check us out. And um, we hope to see you back here soon. And until then, happy scrapping. Thank you.